Ah, then you gorgeous fucker. How are we doing? Good, brother. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. How we go? How how uh, how's how's Australia? It actually is fucking resembling the UK right now. It's cold (laughs) and miserable. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully it's cleared up by the time you guys get here. So it's just not like this isn't what we fucking came here for. What day do you guys hit? Fucking raining here. Um, I don't know. Hold on. 20, 20th, 20th of January is our first show. 20th of January, fucking hell, 20th of July, sorry. I was going to say, that's that's a long time away. Uh, you're getting here in the middle of winter, so you're probably going to have an English summer. That's still quite hot. Yeah, I mean, Sydney yeah, I in winter will be like 15 degrees. Uh, that's but right. if, if it's not raining, the days are nice. The days are lovely. Yes, yeah, this is the first like rainy day we've had in ages, dude. So this is what people want. This is why they come to the breakdown to hear us talk about the weather. With yeah, we break the weather. You look, mate. You're lucky, James, in here. He's he's obsessed with the weather. Like he pays, <laughs> he, pays, he, pays like... A, he pays a subscription for a certain like weather app. I'm sure he does. Stop it. I'm I'm sure he does. He's gonna fucking hate me for talking about this. Like, no, I like I'm, it. Let's I'm, keep talking about the weather. I'm 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 sure it does. Like so, every time we need to know something about weather, he's the first person we ask, and he's he's probably and he's probably answered it before you finished asking him. Really? <laughs> Mate, he check, like, what's the... it supposed to be like outside? Well, today's weather is going to be <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like the pressure literally, systems literally. are coming through. It's going to create a, <laughs> going to create precipitation of seventeen percent. Craig, Craig, I'm telling him. I'm telling him about how obsessed James is with weather. Oh God. Yeah, <laughs> that's a known thing. Have you, t- have you told him about the radar thing? No, no, no. I told him how he pays oh, a subscription no. for a certain uh, weather app. I don't know what you're on about radar thing. So uh, it kind of like normal people just check the weather and go like, "Yeah, it's, it's going to rain or whatever." No, he's got this app where it's like, you know, like the I don't know how to describe it. You know, when you're watching like the real weather on the news when they stood there and like, oh yeah. Low pressure and all this <laughs> stuff, you know, whatever. He's doing this thing on his phone saying that he's like, it's going to rain in the next 20 minutes. And I'm like, how do you know that? He's like, well, if you look at this map, but the thing is, the map's so old. The place we were at the other week wasn't even on the map. I'm yeah. like, look, yeah, really? It's, it, it's a joke. That's but brilliant. he's always I right. That. I have a He's never wrong, though. I also use a radar. I check a. I check the map for the radar. Oh my god! That's how I fucking dress myself. I base what my outfit yeah. is going to be on the weather. I dress weather from today. It's raining. I wore my fucking waterproof shoes because I knew it was going to be raining. <laughs> I just wear, van, van, like I just wear vans and then complain it. about it. <laughs> yeah, I I I use the radar. the The Bureau of Meteorology in Australia here they have like an updated map that shows the radar and the precipitation warning. Okay, and I use that to decide if I'm going to wear shorts and t shirts or rain weather appropriate stuff. I go outside and I sniff. I go, it smells yeah, because yeah. like you're always smell. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna leave James with you, man. Like you two are gonna get on. Yeah. we're gonna have a fucking <laughs> great time. We're gonna be so dressed appropriately. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> Uh, what's going on boys it must be bright and early there yeah yeah man yeah. it's uh 25 to 8 hey, that's um, bright sorry it's nice it's nice it's nice and rainy. That's no, okay. it's fine, dude. It's, fine. it's fine are you guys in similar locations uh yeah kind of about oh, an like, hour about... between yeah yeah something like that oh well, is it I an hour like the mug i like the dexter mug uh, yeah. oh yeah no one no one else has watched it I don't get it. Like really? Yeah, I think I think the only one in the band has ever watched Dexter. Fantastic. I've show. watched. I've watched it um, a few times. Okay, I haven't watched mm. it. It's great. I okay. enjoyed it. Uh, oh, what did you think of the? Did you you obviously watched the newest season, like the reboot? What did you think of that? Uh, I feel like it was a series just so they could end it, kind of thing. It was a bit. It was okay. I, I appreciate that they brought it back. Yeah. Uh, but it was kind of like a whole season of just waiting to, you know, I don't want to give the ending away to anybody. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Thoroughly disappointed. Let's bring up a question um, so we I'm... can't answer it properly. Fucking sick journalism, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we're professionals. Look, I just appreciate the mug. All right. I appreciate it. It's, yeah. you know, like I enjoy a good mug. We've got good mugs. There you go. Plug in, plug in our merch. There you go. Mine's for kid. Mine's Fuck, a proper I can't even get it in front Mine's of the a camera. proper grandma that mug. Is a grandma. What's in it? It's yeah. grandma mug. Tea. Tea. Of course, of course it's it tea. Oh, come on, man. I mean, you've got to be careful with stereotypes shit. these days. You don't drink coffee. <laughs> Oh, do I? Have... No, oh, that's gross. Never trust you're, Matt. You're gross. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doesn't know what the weather's like outside. Doesn't drink coffee. It's raining. Coffee, coffee sucks, dude. Sucks. Doesn't even have a no, rain radar. <laughs> 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 uh, we're going to say, boys, the uh, we absolutely loved the last album. The new tracks are popping off. Stop hey. saying fucking pop up. Sorry. No, I've said it's popping off three times. Say so he hates it. I do oh. hate that term. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that term in regards to something going really well? He calls it popping off, and I fucking hate that. How do you feel about it? Um, I don't, I don't like, hear it that like often. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. That, I think, I think okay. it sounds like something a chav would say. It just sounds okay. shit. Fucking popping off me. Innit? What's a chav? Is that ah! like... I knew it. Yeah. Lad. I knew that would come in. Is that like our version of a bogan? That's a lad. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I would say I, I, asked, I asked on hell about this. I asked Thorn Hill about this, and they said that the UK equivalent of a chav is a bogan. No. A bogan? No, no, it's no, not. No, a, a chav is a lad. We call them a lad here. They're very like eche, stabby, <laughs> stabby. <laughs> Am I wrong? They're a bit stabby. Yeah, a bit shank, a bit shanky. Okay. Yeah, shanky. Yeah, that's another <laughs> way of saying it. All right, well, shanks, but no shanks. Back to the point. The new songs are doing really well. Stop fucking getting on my back. I'm trying to give them a compliment. The new songs are great, guys. Yeah, they're popping off. Are you, you fucking dog? Are you pop, guys pop, excited? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> this is my favorite interview ever. It's just going straight and through it. I'm quitting this channel. Pop, 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 pop. That reminds me of just, just tap it in. Tap, just tap, tap, <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Are you excited to get out here finally? God, yes. yeah, man. Quit, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's long overdue. We we checked you out for the first time quite a while back now, mm. and we've been waiting patiently. What's the hold up in? Why don't you want to come hang out? What's that about? Uh, blame um, everyone apart from us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically us two. Like right. nothing to do. Um, every, everyone James. Else. He Probably checked yeah. the weather forecast. <laughs> was like, it's not worth it, boys. <laughs> that I am not flying when there's that much rain. <laughs> when it's That's too what I've been doing. Yeah. Oh mate, I'm not looking yeah. forward to the flight. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, Ooh. it's actually I, I've said this to the guys coming from the states, and I've done the, like the UK to Australia multiple times. It's honestly once you're in the headspace of just like I'm here, make the most of it. It's actually great. I genuinely enjoy it. You enjoy flying? <laughs> well, I enjoy the forced like I'm here for the next 14 hours, and then I'm at another place and I have another 10 hours. But you're like. Yeah, it's a long time in the air. It's a long time oh. stuck. But ah, you can just sit no and you can you can do content and like I work, I edit and stuff on doing it. It's a good time to just be like, no distractions. I'm just doing this. Some comes a feeds you. That's all right. I'm just I've got a question. Track. Yeah, hit me. I've got a serious question here. So when we leave Australia, we're going straight to LA. So yep. to the west coast of the United States. Yep. Which way do you fly? Do you fly <laughs> around the back of the map? <laughs> Oh, do you the fly? Back of the map, man. It's a globe. It's one. Yeah, you fly on the dark, the dark side of the earth. You fly straight <laughs> across <laughs> the Pacific. It's not James. I, I, I someone, asked, someone, asked, someone asked me when you were on the other side of the map. <laughs> He's like, I, uh, yeah, map. I, had this, it I had this conversation with James. He's like, no, you just fly straight Ready over the sea. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I read something that you can't fly that far no. over water. Yeah, because, you can. You know, if you have if you have a problem, you have, there's only one way you're going. <laughs> no, <isn't> it? <laughs> Sydney to LA is like a direct flight, and it's, you're across water the entire flight. Okay, so it's uh, so it's like you remember Snake on your phone. Oh. So you go off one side and you just reappear on the other side. <laughs> well, if you've got a flat, I, lo- I fucking love I am, that analogy. That I am so not, I am not I am not a flat earther either. Just to throw that in there. Well. <laughs> Jeez, you want to become flying. So I, 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 like a good way. I already hate flying, and now you've told me we've got to fly over the ocean for like 11 hours. Flat. No, man, we've got to fly off the map. 14 hours. The map. 14 hours between Sydney and LA, yeah. 
Oh, but yeah, we sweet. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that'd reassuring. Be, Don't worry about it. That'd be. <laughs> on the bright side if you go down over the ocean between here and la at least we've got to play in australia right yeah (laughs) something yeah we'll tell everyone you guys were great one of them was a flat earther the other guy didn't know (laughs) if it's raining or not they were awesome i am not i am not a flat earther i just can't get my head around that concept we're using that soundbite as the one thing we need to use to promote this. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, we're on the other side of the map and the earth's not round. <laughs> and the government's controlling the rain. <laughs> so It's really funny because I'm like the exact opposite of that. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> have you played much in the States prior? We did a, uh, a six-week tour with Dayseeker last, uh, last April. Um, okay. Yeah, when that, you flew that, that was dope. There, did you fly Miami, New York? Uh, LA, went from Heathrow to LA, 11 oh. hours. 11 That's hours flying across pure, the water for most of the pure, day. Pure oh, hell. God, here we go. It was horrible. <laughs> Not what was experience. bad about it? I want to delve into this. We're now, this is a therapy session. What's bad about flying? What scares you about it? Being 35,000 foot up in the air and nothing in between. <laughs> Have you ever stunned guy? It's a valid point. It's great. Like if something goes wrong, you can I swear? Yeah, Fuck yeah. Say whatever you want. You, you, fuck, you fucked, aren't you? Like there's no coming back from that. You're not going to. You know when you're driving on a freeway in a car, and you're doing yeah. eighty miles an hour. Yeah. You're fucked if you crash that thing too. Yeah, but that'd be my fault. Yeah, oh, you've got a little so bit the more control you're the plane. Yeah. Would it make you feel better if they let you fly the plane? <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Craig's there being like, don't do it, man. He just doesn't know what he's I'm doing. I'm like, just stick me on autopilot. Let me just let me just funny him out with the with the steering yeah. wheel. I hate that. Well, I hate that um the whole what is it that that step where they go, oh you you're seventeen thousand percent more likely to die in a car crash than a plane. It's like, yeah. But like Auto you bikes. go in the car way more often, so the probability increases like a thousandfold yeah. because you drive a thousand times a year. If you're only going on one yeah. flight, and it's like oh, you've only got a two hundred percent chance of dying in a Do plane. You know how many and, flights? And, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to interrupt the idiot here. No. Do you know how many flights go a year and how yeah. many crashes there are a year? Yes. Oh, you God. Go. Very you few. Fucking liar. Very few. But if it's going to happen. What's the chance? But what if you crash in a car, yeah, you might yeah. live. If True. if you you're not yeah. gonna live. Well, it depends on the crash. Yeah, but, but it doesn't depend on the crash with the plane. If it crashes, you're dead. No, not necessarily. They've got yeah, parachutes yeah. and there's there's stuff yeah. there. People survive. Yeah, plane let's crashes. forget about let's forget about all that because I'm not jumping out of a plane at God knows. What high? Even have you ever been, that's my question. Yeah, have yeah, you ever been skydiving? Would back. you ever skydive? No. Um, no. <laughs> I'd, I'd really, really love to, but I don't think I'd be able to bring myself to do it. Well, the good thing is you're with someone that'll probably just push you. And if I die, it won't be my fault again. <laughs> that's a good point. Craig, you said no very quickly there. Just, you scared of heights? What is that about? Um, I think I'm very similar to Matt. I don't like things where i'm like completely out of control kind of thing yeah and i think i think that's why a lot of people do like it because you just like when you're jumping out it's just kind of like right here i am gravity is doing its thing or not. Uh, I, I don't like the i don't like the idea of that um yeah <laughs> i'm pretty controlling sort of person like i like being in controllable situations johnny can attest for that <laughs> but i've skydived many times it's a pretty epic feeling. And the thing mm. is, you're so high up, you can't comprehend the ground. It's not as though you're like, oh, I'm falling down towards that. That's so far away. That's future problem. It's, <laughs> it honestly is a weird thing where you're like, when you're out, it's just, it's a, such a freeing feeling. I've only done it tandem. So like I'm strapped onto someone, but it's, it's yeah. cool. I would definitely recommend doing it. Maybe it would help overcome some of those control issues you guys have. <laughs> yeah. Get who's possibly. Who's, who's, who's the most getting? controlling person in the band? Send them up there. Um, I think I think no, not not me and Matt. 
<laughs> so it's, it's you and Matt, what you're saying. <laughs> Definitely not we'll me and Matt, the other ones. <laughs> I think we'll all cack it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I'm the yeah, same. I, I don't know if I could bring myself to to jump out. Like, I'd, I'd love to. I want to. But what well, about bungee jumping? I reckon I'd have more chance of doing skydiving than bungee jumping. Number one, I because agree. like you said, once you're up there and you're with someone who's experienced. You're in control of bungee jumping. Not if you haven't snaps. like. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've also I bungee jumped a, a bunch of times. Bungee I will jumping, say you can see the bottom. I don't like that. Because yeah. you have to be the one that goes off. That jumps. Unless you get kicked off. I did that once too. Oh, fuck that. You'd love yeah, to kick yeah, you off yeah. a bungee jump. I'd you? fucking love to kick you off anything. <laughs> I can remember I, I, was, I, was on hol- <laughs> I was on holiday years ago and I, there was a, in Spain and there was like this thing where you could go up to the top of the crane and bungee jump off that like into the deep end of a, of a pool yeah um, upside mm-hmm. down and I thought that was absolutely ridiculous like why the fuck would anyone choose to do that let's it's drop 200 video, foot upside down and, and 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 submerge ourselves in water yeah yeah you have they never the heard f- of the beach like you could just, just walk like, into the water. It's not I don't, this might be too bright, but that's me diving off head first off a cliff, bungee jumping. You'll start raving, fucking mad, dude. Like, that was a serious fucking what if, cliff. Too. What if? What if you hit the cliff or something? What would you oh, do? Uh, bounce, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> 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 oh. no, I, don't, I don't think I could bring myself to do it, man. Have you got? I'm just working out what we can do with you guys. Yeah, to, yeah, like, work out some adventure stuff. Because I was going to say, do you guys have any uh, plans for things that you want to do or check out specifically while you're over here? Oh, uh, obviously we want to do like uh, the sightseeing and stuff like that. I really want to want to do the complimentary um, photo with a koala. Oh, you've got stuff. Yeah, do that in Brisbane. Make sure you do it in Brisbane. You can't do it in Sydney anymore. It's only in Brisbane. Oh, really? Brisbane. Yeah, the you place that they do koalas was in mm. Sydney at the zoo here and then the sanctuary. They don't lay a whole koalas anymore, but there's a place in Brisbane that does it. Sweet. So there's your but handy hint. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, dog. We'll take them to the we'll take them to the reptile park down the road. And do how, they can... how much time have they got here? What days do they play? Uh I think you've got do you know whether you've got days off in Sydney? Day? A day off or something? We've got we've got a couple of days off. Hmm. Take you to the reptile park and you can watch them milk the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> they have they have giant tits. <laughs> I think uh, I think the day off uh, the day off will be the day after giant the show in Sydney. Titties. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the day off after Sydney. Yep. Yeah, yeah. check that. The cool. Other day. Yeah. I was going to say, because I could also take you cliff jumping. If you don't want to be attached to them, I just make you jump off a cliff with me without anything attached. Yeah. I oh, would like, rather oh, go to the bar. <laughs> of course you would. There'll be plenty of bars. Don't worry about that. Australia does love No, it. I'm just oh, thinking oh. of things I would rather do than jump off a cliff. Um, yeah, Sweet. I could think of some terrible things, but... <laughs> what, 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 what would you recommend we do? I think so. It depends on what where you got time off. It's in Sydney. Sydney, I think, and we're based just outside Sydney, is a very beautiful city in terms of like the nature. The harbour is stunning. We've got some really cool spots like that. Like when the boys from Arrow were out, we took them to the zoo because the zoo is like perched over the whole harbour, mm. and that was wicked. Um, but there's like heaps of good eateries and stuff. Checking out the beaches is worth it. But you are here in winter, so it's not particularly warm for swimming. Yeah. That what about like good. um doom buggies and stuff like that? Is that is that thing in the winter? Uh yeah, you can. you can do all that sort of stuff. Like uh, I've never yeah. I've never done that. Yeah, really like at the, the dunes and stuff like that. You can do four wheeler yeah tracks on the dunes and things like that. They're talking about like the south side of Sydney, Cronulla, which is like 25 minutes from the city. There's mm. like beaches and stuff you can do it out down there. Yeah, we can we can make some plans. We can take you adventuring. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of research yes. and see what we can find. And then we'll yeah. go get like a bungee let's somewhere. Go get James, or a let's go dog. get James drunk. <laughs> we'll check the weather's good first. <laughs> that is a good time. Does uh does everybody in the band drink? Not excessively. Heavily. Um, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> um, it's kind of one of those things when we're when we're out on tour and stuff. Um, there'll be like 
unplanned nights on the tour where we all end up just kind of getting drunk just for just because it happens like that but we're never like all right we finished playing let's get like let's get fucked yeah um, who's, I, am who's on, the worst? I am on the last show i'm always like that right i'm done i can <laughs> yeah, get yeah. smashed now that's all good right. that's a sydney yeah yeah oh, who's and the, then you uh, regret it the next morning when you're trying to run a dream buggy feeling hungover as fuck <laughs> <laughs> who's the most run annoying run drunk in the band the, the most annoying drunk the most annoying drunk ben, yeah benji yeah he's not yeah so benji's like when he gets drunk um he kind of he's not annoying in the sense that he's like you're doing my head in but he's kind of like it's like having a 33 year old toddler he's like where's benji and he's kind of he's not doing anything wrong he's just kind of stood there like that's doing this dickhead right here but he's not even <laughs> too drunk for this this is a 42 year old toddler <laughs> 41 you dog <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, I mean, I think the good thing with Benji is um, he kind of gets to a point where he's like, right, I'm off to bed, you know, which with a lot of people, mm. it's kind of like, you know, like, yeah. come on, go, go. go. He's kind of like, at least he knows his just... limit. Yeah. 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 So uh, I think James, we're quite lucky in that sense. <laughs> James is the funniest drunk I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, oh, yeah. it's hilarious. You know, you know, when someone gets that drunk, <laughs> Every step they take, they look like they're about to fall. They look like they're about to fall flat on the face. But he just yeah. never falls over. He somehow manages <laughs> That's to amazing. keep himself up. It's insane, dude. It's insane. It's like one of those dolls that has all the weight at the bottom. They tip and they just always roll back up. On <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on to us. We was like park, we was parked on a hill on tour, on tour, and James got. It's very rare. James will get absolutely smashed. Uh, but one night I got smashed. I came up walking off, walk, walking out of the van, and he was trying to walk up up the road. But because of the hill, he was just like walk, trying to walk forwards, but going backwards, like <laughs> but still not not falling down. I don't know how he fucking does it. Like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we stay in Sydney, we're just gonna. I'm my my plan is to get James absolutely trolled so everyone can see how amazing it is. The world. I'd enjoy that. Hmm. Johnny falls over quite easy. Can you just step out of this eye? I wanted to show the mark on the wall from where you fell off your chair. Oh. Go on, out of the way. I'm just going to lower the camera down. See that? That's a mark from oh, where Johnny yeah. fell off his chair and marked the wall. <laughs> Had zero beers as well. So that was pretty good. It was like core strength. Boom. <laughs> 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 so first time out here, you've got some songs under your belt, um, playing obviously <laughs> shorter sets than you would play. I suppose we should talk about music, shouldn't we? Um, playing so shorter sets than you would back home if you're doing headliners and things. How hard is it to sort of to plan a set list? You know, you've got all these new songs coming out. Um, you've obviously got the older stuff that you know you've got fans on here. How do you sort of decide what you're going to play and what, what you're not going to play? Because I feel like if you guys have been touring quite a bit, you know, over in the UK um, and surrounding areas, you kind of know, you've got sort of something to work off. You know what your fans over there want to hear yeah. to an extent. Yeah. But this is a new audience for you guys. Exactly. I think it's probably, it's going to be a, a a trial run, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think people mainly want to hear, want to hear the singles. Um, yeah. I mean, if, if, we won't have a massive fan base in Australia, but I'm I'm thinking the fans that do know us uh, will know those songs mainly rather than you know the 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 songs we don't normally do off the album. Um, so we just always want to keep, especially if it's a support slot, we always want to keep it high energy and and upbeat. So we'll we'll play as many like hard hitting singles as, as as we can. No little no little soppy ones in support slots. Oh yeah, okay, very good, very good. No soppy songs. No soppy songs. Yeah. No soppy, soppy songs. ones this time. Next I'm time. Afraid. Back when we convinced him to fly back across. I miss. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. I'll be right on, on, the train back, <laughs> on the train back. On the plane back. Catch the train back now. He's already on. Uh, uh, <laughs> Catch train, the train. Plane. Yeah, that's Catch the one the problem train. with Australia. It's there is only really one viable option to get here: a super long flight. Or an exceptionally long boat trip. Yeah, but even then, that's not like a Jesus. Yeah, get a, get a cruise or something, but that's not really fun. Who is who's the dude that won't fly now? Is it the singer from Breaking Bad? Travis, Travis Barker don't, don't fly, is it? Yeah, he, does, he uh, does now. He does. Now. I think he oh, does it? now. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Who's I, the one you're thinking? Of? I think it's this. Uh, I think it's the singer from Breaking Benjamin. Um, I can't remember who was telling me. 
They're saying like he won't fly, um, which is why they very rarely get to like Europe and stuff like that. So he has to literally yeah, get on a boat, but it takes like weeks. Oh, so he actually him. does oh, take a boat. That's yeah, yeah. So dumb. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but like, it's kind of like. If your job's a touring musician, you can't. Like, you have to. Like, yeah, also, I think they're making enough money in America anyway. They're probably just I was like, about to say, oh, I, think, I think they do well in the States. I think Wouldn't they it be do quicker to drive? Very well. No. Drive where? Where? Oh, where the fuck are we going? Like, yeah, oh, right, 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 listen. Right, to, listen. To be, yeah, obviously, like, they'll, they'll need to get certain, uh, certain boats and stuff, but wouldn't it be quicker to, to like, Drive across Europe than like sail under it. Yeah, but yeah, but once you're in mainland, once you're in mainland Europe, you're fine. Then you can you can drive everywhere. I'm talking about it from the states to Europe. Also, Mm -hmm. if you could drive it right, imagine the size of the bridge. You know, which is fine. But then you've got to think about you know if there's like a a fuel station or a service station right in the middle of this giant bridge between the states and the UK. Who works there? I saw a video. <laughs> actually saw a video about this like Some three days ago. Unfortunate fucker. Yeah, the loneliest man on the planet. No, yeah. here's the concept. This guy, I saw a video and they were like proposing the concept of this like super highway. And I can't remember if it was between Australia and America. I think it might have been. I think it was like ah. Sydney or Brisbane to San Francisco. It was the? It's not an actual thing, but they're like, here's how it theoretically could work. And so you've got the bridge. It's like an un, unlimited speed limit type situation, like an autobahn, mm-hmm. two or three lanes either way. And they're saying that every hour there's a some sort of stop. So there's like a service station or some sort. And then there's three mega stops along the way because it would take however long to drive. I think it would take 12 hours to drive or something like that if you're going at 160 k's, whatever it was. Really? And they're saying that the people that work there, it'd be like FIFO, like fly in fly out people that would work at the mcdonald's and the oh, whatever right. the other thing is there and that was the concept and so they'd be like flying by a helicopter to these things and that was the the idea behind this it's never gonna fucking happen it's so impractical but could you imagine having to get a helicopter every day to work at mcdonald's no, it's not an everyday situation it's flying in for a week oh. you, you stay there you live on oh. the thing for a week and then you fly out for a yeah, week, that, week yeah the off. that's the way you should to do just it. send yeah. like shamed people to do it like Johnny, fucking, that. <laughs> yeah, fucking just... Boris, Boris Johnson. I don't know. <laughs> Would you like fries with that? Fucking <laughs> Biden. <laughs> and just, just use all the Muppets. I don't know. Putin. Ima- ima- imagine leaders. Putin work- working in a McDonald's. Oh, Jesus. Not yeah, at no, all. <laughs> Fuck no. What's someone like that do? Oh, yeah. Once they're out of like office, what do they do? Do they just retire? What's their purpose? Yeah, like... They get hired by loads of different like com- like lobbying firms, and they'll go and work for like uh, news newspaper companies, and write articles, and do private speeches and shit like that. And you get paid to shed loads for it. World. Yeah, like mm. Boris, what they say, like John Johnson made more money the year after he wasn't prime minister than the whole his whole like term or something like that, just from doing. He's got enough money like that. He made like five million know. pound in a year just just, just from speeches and stuff. Is there? Oh, he's, That's he's, he's a gross. He's a gross man. He's gross. Yeah, right. Did you know that Boris Johnson is actually Turkish? No. <laughs> Hang on. Let, let me just let me just Google this just to double check. <laughs> we about to do a tribute. I've just decided we're doing a tribute. I may I may have made this up. Hang on. Let me check. That. No, I like I, it. I I hope I hope you haven't. Oh my goodness. No, Hang this on. is what you do though. You go. You say something like. I think that's true. I yeah. might have made that up. And yes just like, let me check that. I've just decided that we're going to play trivia with you guys. Right now, yeah. I've got questions in front of me ready. Let's okay. do it. Uh, do you mean to just like go at random here? Just like... Yeah, just give them some random ones. Okay. Yeah. Um, to test their general he's, knowledge. He's British, man. He's not British. Sorry, yeah, that's, look, uh, that was a weird thing for you to throw out there. <laughs> Okay. No, wait, no, wait. It is true. It is true. What? Yeah. Like, all oh, one side of the family is Turkish. Oh. So he has heritage in Turkey. Uh, yeah, but we're talking, like, uh, grandfather. So pretty close. 
Was he? Where was he born? Uh, I am just trying to find. Uh, he was actually born, born in New York. A fucking spoon. That's what he was born. born in New York. He was born in New York. Oh, he was oh. a Yankee. Yeah. Okay. This is a whole separate. He's a twat, mate. That's what he is. <laughs> How was the interview? <laughs> oh, it was very boring. We talked about <laughs> Boris Johnson's lineage for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what animal can clean its own ear with its tongue? How? No. Okay. Uh, uh, Try and other cat. one. Say cat. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's a it's a giraffe. I was gonna say a giraffe. Fuck's sake. You went. To it's call. a giraffe. Yeah. It's a giraffe. Okay. Bonus point. Can you tell me what part of the body does a giraffe not have that every other mammal has? Think about a giraffe. Mm. What might it be missing that every other mammal has, like a cow and a horse? Who oh, knows? Um, uh, um, shoulders. I don't know. <laughs> oh, knee, kneecaps. No, that's what Wade that's that. from Alexis on Fire said as well. Kneecaps. Uh, like kneecaps is not it. No. Uh, shoulders is my ankles. Because it means he's got an even taller neck. Because there's no ankles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, they, they've got <laughs> ankles. The answer is vocal cords. All that neck oh. and no vocal cords. Okay. Which of these pop artists has written for Alice Cooper? Kesha, Pink, Miley Cyrus or Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. Are you both going with Lady Gaga? My, no, I'm going with Miley Cyrus. My, both both wrong. wrong. It is not Miley <laughs> Cyrus. Pink. Or no, it's Kesha. It's Kesha. What no the way. fuck? Yeah, yeah. Kesha's a, a, a pretty massive, prolific songwriter. Okay. You wouldn't tell from her songs, would you, really? Oh! <laughs> Oh, How shots did. fired. Have you ever woke up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? <laughs> we, we never, we never, like, we need to be careful with who our oh. guests land are on this channel just in case it gets back to their management stuff. I mean, it's oh, yeah, fuck it. Nah, 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 I'll be all right. Surprised you can slam who even wants to I'm surprised we didn't cop heat after Marcus from North Saints, North Lane said he doesn't trust Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, I don't. But I backed up Taylor Swift. I don't, I don't touch. I don't trust her. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, there's seven dwarves. The seven dwarves. <laughs> How many of their names end in Y? All of them. No. no. Um. Shit. Six. Ooh. No. Five. Seven. Five. <laughs> All of them. Seven. <laughs> So there's, there's, who's the brain? Bashful. Bashful. Yeah. Oh, right. mate. And there's one other. Um, I can't think of the other. Real quick. Doc. D O C. Doc. Doc. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, thought, I thought yeah. you said dick. I, sorry. I thought you said something else. And I thought you just went dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> just insulting you. It's a bit. Early. It's a bit Doc Martin boots after him. Okay, which country <laughs> produces the most coffee in the world? Colombia. No, close. Oh, good guess, sir. Is it? Can I have the first letter? <laughs> it's one letter off Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> <Fun. laughs> I, that's where my brain went as well. Then, yeah. like, what? <laughs> oh, this is going off the rails. Yeah, it's Brazil. <laughs> Brazil is the answer. Brazil. You guys okay. got to learn something here. Okay, here's a Johnny question. In Swedish, what is entrance and driveway, respectively? What are the words for entrance? What and the driveway? fuck are these questions, dude? Oh, like, very good. There's, there's, these what? questions are popping off. There's your hint. <laughs> Pop in my head. I'm sorry, sir. Can I have the question yeah, again, please? Yeah. So, what are the words in Swedish for entrance and driveway? It's the same word. Can I it means it? both things. Yeah. No, they're different Isn't words. It? Oh, no. Yeah. But they, that's similar. I... 
It's more about me teaching you dumb things. Mm. The words are in fart and up fart. <laughs> I feel like I knew that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. Do you guys like horror movies? Yes. Okay. Where's he gone? Uh, he got over the questions. He's done. <laughs> Hang on one sec. <laughs> He's just taking his pants off real quick. Can you name three horror movies to compete for an Oscar? So, what, did, like head to head? Oh. No, no, no. no so there's only ever been six, seven. One, two, three, four, six. There's only ever been six movies nominated for an Oscar in the horror genre. The Shining. No. <laughs> I thought that as well. Uh, uh, wait, let me get my phone. My brain's blank. Horror movies. Big horror I'm, movies. I guess, cause you can't look it up and then answer. <laughs> no, I was just say, gonna look. <laughs> oh, I just, can't even think of it. Let me just quickly Google like that. that. Yeah. I'm still... No, I'm joking. One um, of them won in the last five years. Ah, uh, um... Hang on, give me a minute. It's not like, um, Buzz. It's not one in the last five years. It's Are we talking like that? classic? Close. No, you're close with us. You. No. Is it you? <laughs> Me! No. Yeah. Them. Uh, sure. um, you're very close with us, though. I'm trying to think you like in the last five years. When um, I say these, by the way, you're going to be so annoyed at yourselves uh, for not getting them. I say that. Are we? Are these really obvious, like horror films? Like, oh god, yeah, I've three I've of I've them are yeah, particularly, yeah. and one that has one. So, yeah. Let okay. me know when you give up, and I'll give you answers. The human. I'm a humanist. <laughs> you <No>. sick fuck. <laughs> like uh, the human set be two. <laughs> Was it was it the second or the third one? I've never watched the second. Mate, the, or the third, third one, one is, is that the one in the prison. Yeah, it's amazing. It doesn't in a prison. It's like all these prisoners just centipeded together. The warden yeah. is star raving mad. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a funny watch. You do. <laughs> I'm gonna make you watch it. Yeah, right. I'll watch it when you scored off. <laughs> We watch it while we're skydiving. When we skydive. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you answers here because you're taking too long. You've got no hope. The movie hang on, yeah, wait, hang on, wait. I, th- I think I might have one. Is it have Kathy Bates? A friend? What? No. No, my wife's just got up. She's making tea. <laughs> Is it Now You um, See Me? No, no. That's No, I think it's comedy. either. That's Is it Misery? Though. No, it's not. So the one that won... It's not misery. But you were close with us. Get out. Get out. Oh, yeah. So that's the one that won. Ones I would have accepted were The Exorcist. Jaws. Jaws. The Silence of the Lambs. And then the other two are sort of... I said that. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. (laughs) Uh, uh, The Sixth Sense and Black Swan. Black Swan. Wow. I I've didn't think that. of that as being a horror movie. I've never seen it. Oh, it's I've not seen it. It is kind of like creepy, but it's not a horror movie. It's just like more of like a psychological thriller. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll find one more question here. Something good. Let's find something that is um, remotely Australian. Oh, let's just do, we'll do some quick fire ones. What is a stanger? In a Australia. Fart. Not a fart. A uh, flat tire. Uh, no. A stanger. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what stanger is. It should, it should be a, a sandwich. <laughs> what? What's a skewy? Scooter. A fucking donut. Oh. No. Schooner of beer. Come on, boys. Oh, schooner. I thought yeah, said a so. scooty. What Sco- are pluggers? Pluggers. Airplugs. Pluggers. No. Commonly uh, referred to as flip flops or thongs. Yeah. Wow. Pluggers. The fuck? Yeah. Flip flops or thongs. If I was wearing dickies, 
What would I be wearing? Dickos. What's the dicko? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the slang term for dickies. Sorry. Dick- dickies. Dicky. Yeah. Dickies is it refers so to something. Yeah, as in not the brand of pants. Oh, fuck no, then. That's, that's where my brain went instantly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Swimming trunks. You know, like dickies. Oh, okay. Dick stickers. Yeah, dick sense. stickers. Okay. Yeah, because your dick sticks out. Dick uh, stickers. Last one. What's a servo? <laughs> Oh, service station. Hey! hey! Look, you guys call them that. I thought you said Terrible cervix. <laughs> yeah. You may be the... fucking everything, dude. Look, when we see you guys next time, just start doing some trivia, practice to yourselves. Mm. I've got hundreds of questions and I'll let you guys go in a team. We'll do something and there'll be some sort of prize. We'll do something there to just make you recover from this one because that mm. was uh, atrocious no one's gonna want to be on my team <laughs> i'll put johnny on maybe i'll make a new one put johnny on your team yeah that's all right Thank just you. Ask, us, ask us questions about football would be right yeah sports craig are you a sportsman do you love sports am i craig. yeah yes. yeah rugby though rugby Rugby. Oh. Did you play Rugby. or you just watch? Uh, I used to. I played for about 10 years until I was like 17. Okay. So like from a child up until realizing I was not going to get big enough <laughs> to yeah. survive. It's at that age, sort of like 16, 17, 18, where you're like, they're getting way bigger than me and this hurts a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm either going to yeah, get a hell of exactly. a quicker or I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, we're, uh, we're we're super keen to have you out here guys like uh i'm sure you've seen we've dropped plenty of videos for you we love what you're doing but we are going to finish with the divisive question all right you have to go out on stage perfectly dry and comfortable you have to either put you have to put on either cold wet socks to do the set or cold wet underwear what do you choose and why i choose cold wet underwear Mommy. yeah me too actually yeah. Why? Keep it, you cool. Keep yeah, you cool yeah, while you're yeah. playing because yeah. either way, if my underwear's wet or dry, by the time I finish, it's wet. So yeah, if it's you know. warm and wet, and you've gradually done that over time. It's you've you've worked your way towards that. You haven't just chafed your way through an hour set. I could deal oh, more so with, the, with a yeah. freezing cold ice dick than <laughs> fucking old crinkly old men feet. Yeah, see, that's what gets me. Everyone long. says that. You're playing for a because fucking hour. How good. quickly are your feet shriveling up? <laughs> there, don't, there's nothing wrong with my feet. Don't, don't, well, don't, apparently don't there are. Feet, no, Shrinking. Well, well yeah, if you're, if you're jumping about for half an hour in fucking cold socks, dude, like, oh, no. Oh, so British. Oh, no. <laughs> That's yeah, in, the Greg, in the grandpa cup. <laughs> I'm quite all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we think you're all you right. You are indeed. Well, indeed we're looking forward to having you guys out here. We'll we'll get some hang times and we'll think of some fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for coming on the channel in the meantime. Uh, no, thanks for having us, dude. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Uh, is there before you go? Is there any other any other songs dropping before you get out here, or is <laughs> anything that you can talk about? Yeah, we have a habit of uh, breaking news that's not supposed to be broken. There's definitely another single coming uh, very soon. That's all I can say. Like, very, very okay. soon. Cool. It's the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Just, that's what he's doing before he <laughs> yeah, covered the yeah. screen. Just release that real quickly. Yeah, we'll yeah I'm that. just, uh, yeah. I've got a button to press when we're off this. So, can yeah. we? Uh... <laughs> Easy done. <laughs> all right, dudes. Thanks so much for hanging out. We have that see. pussycat yeah, dolls happening right there. <laughs> just off there, seeing some pussycat dolls. <laughs> Legend. Thank you, boys. Thanks, dudes. We'll catch you soon. Thank you.